segment, we are going to talk about all of the controls on the Perform VK. So the very first one we have uh, is tone. So tone is effectively uh, a little teeny tiny sound guy that we shrunk and threw into the machine. I say this all the time, and it's my shtick, so you're just gonna have to shtick with me. Um, but basically, it's compression, it's gating, it's DSing, it's EQ. It's all of the good things that make you sound amazing. You can just turn that on and off by hitting the button. White is off, green is on. Super simple. Anti-feedback. It's not perfect. You still have to do your due diligence to make sure that you set up your stage properly. Don't stick the mic into the speaker. That's a no-brainer. Make sure that your speakers are in front of the microphone. All of that stuff. But basically, if there is any issues within the room, it's going to adjust to the environment that it's in and stop any feedback. So to activate it, make sure that's working. White is off. Hit the button. Blue is on. Uh, while you're performing, you might see it pulsing, and that just means it's doing its thing and it's cutting out some of those frequencies that might be feeding back. Pitch. Every once in a while, we all need a little bit of help with some pitch correction. That's okay. Sometimes I'll do a three-night or three-hour gig, and um, by the end of the night, your your voice is tired. And I know the folks down in Nashville, they do five hours with no breaks. So we're only human. You might have a little bit of uh, vocal fatigue by the end of your set, and a little bit of pitch correction can't hurt. So what pitch correction does is it adjusts um, your pitch that you're singing to the nearest semitone. Uh, so it's, it's very subtle and it's just a really great helpful tool. Again, white is off, hit that button and green is on. Perform VK also has this really fun um, tool within it to help train your voice so that you can work on your pitch if you're having issues. Hold that down and it's gonna go to this screen and basically, Whoops, let's bring this around here. While you're using it, you can... Now I'm in tune. It kind of works like a guitar, guitar tuner. So if you're a little bit flat, try to make myself go flat here. It's gonna go orange and, and red on the other side. So flat goes this way, sharp goes this way. If you want to get out of that training, you just hold it down again, and it goes back to the normal screen. Pitch on, pitch off. 48 volts. So if you're using a condenser mic uh, and it needs phantom power, that's the button you're going to hit. Also, some of our mics have mic control if you're using a TC Helicon mic. This one I'm using right now is our MP75. So you can see that here. It's got this button called mic control. and. Uh, that requires, uh, not this one, sorry, the MP76 needs phantom power, so I just lied to you. So the 76, which has a mic control button as well as a couple of other buttons um, and a little screen, so that one needs phantom power. Anyways, very simple, hit the button uh, if you need phantom power. Uh, down here we have our talk button, so this is fantastic, let me show you. You've got your effects going. You just finished your song and you don't want to talk like this, you can just hit the talk button and now it takes all of the effects off your voice so you have a nice clear voice to address your audience. Now, say you're done your set and you're going uh, and you have your break, you're playing a wedding, drunk Uncle Phil gets this idea that he wants to do this big speech to the audience and he walks up to the microphone you want to make sure that you lock this out while you're in the bathroom and can't control the situation so that drunk Uncle Phil doesn't wreck your settings. So all you do is you hold down that talk button until it flashes for about three or four seconds, let it go, and now no one can use anything. It's locked out. And if you try and talk into the microphone, it is muted as well. Your keyboards might still be going, but... Uh, at least nothing going out to the PA is going to work uh, as long as it's all routed through the Perform VK. To unactivate that, hold it down and you're back to normal. Hey, hey, hey. And lastly here we have our tap button. So tap is awesome. What it does is it cues the tempo of the effects. So for your delay effect, you want to make sure that those quarter note delays or eighth note delays are going in time with the music. So while you're getting ready to play your song, um, you just tap along to the tempo of the song and that's gonna make those delays uh, trigger properly. So let's just take that off. Hey. 
I'm gonna turn that up so you can hear it better. Hear it better, hear it better, hear it better, hear it better. Huh? Check. Check, 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 check. If I want it to go faster, got a real fast one. Check. Check, 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 check. check. Pretty, cool. Pretty, cool. Pretty cool. Okay, if you wanna do a factory reset, say you've tried a whole bunch of different presets out, you've beamed them in, and now you're like, I just want the normal uh, presets and sounds that this thing came in out of the box with. I need to do a factory reset. Um, all you're gonna do is unplug the device and then you're gonna, while you plug it back in, you're gonna hold the harmony and the echo button down. <laughs> My finger's in the way, there we go. So hold that, hold the harmony and the echo down while it's powering up and you're back to your factory settings. Hey, check, check. So that's pretty simple. Those are all the controls. The last one here uh, is your headphone. So you just hit that and you can adjust your headphone volume here. And that's super simple. All right, so there's all of your controls on the Perform VK. I hope you found this vid video helpful. If you did, please like it. If you have any questions at all, throw them in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.